Hello and welcome to the first installment of the ASP Hot Topic Webisodes. I'm Barbara Trattler, Director of Clinical Education at ASP, and today's webisode will look to discuss the December 22nd announcement by FDA regarding the extended support period for customers who have already purchased a legally marketed alternative to the Steris System 1 reprocessor. For healthcare facilities that have yet to acquire a replacement product for their current SS1 units, they will need to issue a purchase order for that product by February 2, 2012. Only customers who have placed orders for an alternative solution and completed a certificate of transition may continue receiving support from Steris through August 2, 2012. By now, you have probably received a letter from Steris dated December 22nd, requesting that if you intend to continue purchasing S20 Sterilant to do the following. One, purchase a legally marketed alternative. Two, complete and sign the Steris Certificate of Transition. And three, return the Certificate of Transition to Steris Corporation. We recommend that you complete these steps as soon as possible to ensure continuity in reprocessing instruments for your patients. Steris will discontinue support for SS1 customers who do not provide them a completed certificate of transition. Although the FDA announcement does not change your time frame for purchasing a replacement product for your SS1s, the announcement does provide you with additional time to properly implement an alternative solution within your facility and minimize impact to patient flow. The position of ASP has not changed due to the December 22nd FDA announcement. Since FDA issued the Steris System 1 safety alert over two years ago, we have remained committed to delivering alternative solutions in a timely manner and raising the standard of care. You can be confident that orders placed for ASP terminal sterilization or high-level disinfection systems by February 2, 2012 will be delivered, installed, and in-serviced in advance of the August 2, 2012 deadline by the FDA. For those who are still evaluating your options, keep in mind that not all alternatives out there are recommended for processing critical devices. For example, the newly released Steris System 1E Liquid Chemical Sterilant Processing System is not a sterilizer. According to the FDA, sterilization with liquid chemical sterilants does not convey the same sterility assurance as sterilization using thermal or gas vapor plasma low temperature sterilization. Our steroid sterilization systems provide you the sterility assurance level you need for your critical devices and the steroid Cyclosure 24 biological indicator provides you the peace of mind that proper sterilization conditions were achieved. Thousands of facilities in the U.S. turn to steroid sterilization systems to keep up with their surgical demand and provide their patients with instruments that have been processed using the highest standard of care, terminal sterilization. The Steroid NX system, with its ability to quickly sterilize a wide range of surgical instruments from cameras to single-channel flexible scopes, makes it possible to safely achieve sterilization in the operating room. If you are looking to replace your SS1 in the GI or respiratory setting, our Evotech Endoscope Cleaner and Reprocessor, ECR, is the first endoscope reprocessor that can eliminate the need to manually clean your scopes before reprocessing. This cutting edge product removes the variability in human factors associated with cleaning endoscopes, properly documenting and monitoring of minimally effective concentration, MEC, of your disinfection solution. We at ASP understand that managing this change can be challenging and are committed to helping you start this process as soon as possible. In the last two years, we have helped thousands of facilities transition to our steroid systems and Evotech ECRs. Our highly experienced clinical education team, top-notch field service engineers, and tenured sales professionals are ready to help you raise the standard of care for your patients. We look forward to hearing from you soon. 
I'm Barbara Troutler, and we'll see you next time.